in here and I thought I'd do a um, video here to kind of show some of the extra stuff about the new Lightbook Mimas that um, the Goody Reader YouTube channel did not cover and first off I just want to show the um, uh, setup process as far as I know, I believe Google Place... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Android is starting. There you go. So as I mentioned, I was just about to mention, yeah, so it does run on a heavily modified version of Android Marshmallow. And so I thought I'd just show the setup. I won't go through the unboxing because Goody Reader already did that. I'll just put a YouTube cue card or something. So we're going to select English. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the included screen protector is actually a matte screen protector, so that is very nice. Next. Next. And then uh, there you go, Wi-Fi. So it's similar to um, stock Android, so I'll just connect to my Wi-Fi there. Okay, yeah, this prop is just like um, uh, stock Android, so let me just put in my password. Actually, yeah, I think the, yeah, the um, keyboard sounds actually the same as stock Android. I mean AOSP. So there you go, Wi-Fi connected. Uh, I do apologize for the glare. Next. Okay. Um, this is not in the stock Android setup for sure. They actually let you um configure the sleep delay as well as automatic power off and uh, Wi-Fi power off. Interesting. I'm not too sure what to make of the automatic power off, but for now I'll just um, leave that as a default. Uh, screen um, auto sleep is a standard Android feature. Um, wi Fi delay. Turn off Wi Fi after 10 minutes. I'm probably gonna just set that to like. Uh, no, no, no. I'll probably set it to like half an hour because uh, most of the content I'm planning to read are. Um, uh, online on uh, webtoon yeah I mainly get this to read comics but also to help with the um, a future software project that does involve e-paper and so after just those three pages there you go you're in the home screen and it looks like they actually um, preload some uh, project Gutenberg content which is interesting I thought I was gonna do that myself but yeah they do actually um, preload it, which is very interesting. So you do also have the note taking features. Uh, yeah, so you do actually have some sample notes as well. That's interesting. And uh, that's your application menu. So you do actually have um, this. So this is the settings for e-reader and then Android settings is the AOSP settings. So. You do have home and back buttons here, but it's also replicated at the top of the screen, maybe because if, in case you can't actually reach this. Yeah, and then um, file browser. Yeah, this should be the AOSP settings. It is, except they, of course, actually modified the um, UI to um, work better on, on e-paper. Screenshot settings, which is what I normally only remember seeing on... Um, Chinese Android tablets. Actually, go, okay, go to about device. So yeah. So it is marshmallow, but it should be enough for this. Um, of course, no option for update here, but I think they up. I'm not sure about updates, but generally, um, these Android-based e-readers tend to stick on old versions of Android for some time. So I remember they usually would use some. 4.0 then 4.4 and then now 